We got the local fan favorite New York Yankee, Rob Marinaccio with us, dude. Thank you so much for hopping on the feed. You got some great absolutely, Instagram absolutely. posts. You ready to check them out? Yeah, let's do it. First one, growing up on the Jersey Shore, here you are, dude. Young flamethrower, what do you got? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that looks like a kid right there just trying to find his way, um, having fun. Since we got a Boston jersey on there, <laughs> but um, you know, I was still a Yankee fan at heart back then. But you know, it brings me. Um, those were some of the fun days back there playing Little League. Uh, you know, your neighborhood buddies playing for them, and you know, it, it you know seems pretty big at that point. And you mentioned the Red Sox hat, the, the team that you're on. It was always kind of cool if you were like on the Diamondbacks or something like yeah. that, like a team that wasn't a local tri-state mm -hmm. area team, wasn't it? Absolutely, you know, um, that was the fun part about Little League. You know, everybody felt like you're, you know, a part of that team. Uh, I remember being in the Mets, uh, being on the Mets and, you know, having uncles and stuff that were Mets fans. That was, that was cool, so you get to just, you know, have a little imagination, be a part of a different team. Dude, you took the words right out of my mouth because you actually were on the Mets at one point. There you go. Look at that. Look at that hair, too. Dude, you got some flow back then. I know you don't have it now, but you had it then. Absolutely. Yeah, I remember me and my brother were always growing our hair back then. I don't know if it was, I didn't feel like getting a haircut or if I, if I liked it, but it was all right back then, I guess. Yeah, it looked good. Are we ever going to see that on the mound here at Yankee Stadium? Uh, not at Yankee Stadium, no. That'll, <laughs> that'll be over the collar there, so. <laughs> we showed the Red Sox jersey. We showed the Mets one. Here you are rocking your Yankees gear because you're a big Yankee fan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my mom dug this one up for me um, when I got added to the 40 man. Um, you don't think about it back then. You know, you're just thinking about having fun playing baseball and, you know, for me rooting for the guys playing for the Yankees. And now it's, you know, cool for me to, you know, look back on that and look at like what I would be looking up to basically. Here you are with your family. Was this at a Yankee game and also too, whose bobblehead is that? It looks like maybe Jeter. That's my uncle and my cousin on my mom's side. I want to say that was my first Yankee game that I came to. No way. Um, yeah, I think that was my first one. He took me to the Yankee game. We sat out in the bleachers. Um, that's where we that's where we'd always sit when we come to the game. We sat out in the bleachers, you know, the cheapest seats to get in here, but some of the funnest fans to be around. Yeah, and you got a bobblehead. Absolutely. All right, this is the first time that you ever actually put on the real pinstripes. How special mm -hmm. of a moment was this for you? Yeah, I mean, that was cool, and and that that's like, in the organization, the only time you wear those pinstripes is in that rookie ball up until you get back up here, so it's it's a cool thing to put on the pinstripes. I remember, you know, snapping picks, and it was my, my buddies back home, like, you know, this is pretty cool, and you know, we obviously all thought we were pretty cool in this picture, too, so. <laughs> I know, this is like the one picture where you're not smiling yeah. on your page, which, <laughs> you got a big smile on this one. Jumpsuit in January. Yep, yep. So you got that going on with the fam. So one of my friends, his older brothers, they all have a bunch of little kids now and stuff too. So they thought it would be fun for uh, New Year's. We did jumpsuit January. Everybody wore different different jumpsuits. They they've been doing it for a few years. So this was the first year I got involved. And it was a good time. Yeah, just a, like this one, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, what made you go with this look right here? Honestly, it was me and my fiance. We went to the mall the night before, and I think we ended up at like Foot Locker or one of those, and just went through all their jumpsuits and picked out one. I got a nice little suede one. It was comfortable, and that was the main thing I was going for. I love it. I love it. All right, you said some of your boys and family members. Who are these guys? Introduce us to the crew. Next to me is my buddy John. This is uh, one of my best friends. He's going to be in my wedding um, coming up in December, and then that's his older brother Mike, who. I mean, I was going over these guys' houses when I was like six years old, and Mike was probably like in high school at that point. He's mm -hmm. a he's a bit older than us, so you know he was one of the guys we looked up to, and he originated Jumpsuit January. So nice. that's that, or for for our friends at least. Dude, we might have to bring that Jumpsuit January theme to uh, Yankee Stadium, maybe oh, man, sometime would, in June. If that it, like, would be fun. Kind yeah. of like a lighter one, you know, maybe not the suede that you were rocking. That but. would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure New Yorkers would get a kick out of that. <laughs> yeah. All right, so next picture. Dude, I know you're kidding around about the jumpsuit, but you actually put it together really well, man. Check out the suit. Yeah, that's that's not bad. Um, that was my buddy Sean Semple. He's in um, AAA with us right now. This was his wedding out in Texas. It was a really cool spot. Um, that was my first time going out to Texas, and um, good friends, good family there. It was a good time. Congratulations. You mentioned your wedding coming up. Here you are. Give us the story behind this proposal. Okay, so this is a street in Philly here. Um, funny story, we picked my fiance's um, cousin up from the airport, or from the train station that day in Philly. 
and she was coming with us like she was our photographer so she was cool. she was coming along for it just to try and you know not make it too obvious and um, so we're walking and I don't remember the name of the street but it turned out there was two streets with the same name within like five blocks so we're walking and we ended up on this street where I thought I was going and luckily I texted my buddy and I was like hey uh, I'm on the street out but it was like a back alley I was like I don't know where I'm at and he like immediately sent me uh, a location which we were only like a two minute walk away from so it, it ended up working out and he saved the day for me but um, it's a special moment to look back on she's been uh, with me for a long time through through all the minor leagues so um, you know, she's enjoying this just as much as everybody else too, and she deserves it. Totally, dude. I mean, you guys go way back here. She is looking great. <laughs> super excited, super happy, and, and here's the throwback picture too. Yep. You guys right on the water. So where was this, and how long you guys been dating for? Uh, we started dating in college, my junior year, and this I want to say was on a cruise. I think we went to Bermuda with my family when we graduated Ooh, college nice. in 2017. So that was that was actually one of the better vacations I've been on still. Um, I loved going to Bermuda. I thought it was a really cool spot, um, and the cruise was cool. Too. Too. you know always something to do on the cruise and we went with a couple other friends too so it was like you know always action something to do um, having some drinks whatever it might be but it was a it was a really good time there that's right all right take it home with this one this might have been on that vacation or maybe on the Jersey Shore but this one's in Tampa here actually this there was you during go. one of maybe she came down to visit me during one of my times down in uh, spring training or something but that was right by the Chase Suites Hotel. They had a little bit of a jet ski area there, so we ran in jet skis one day, got out on the water. That was a good time. What would you say is your favorite part about social media and sharing all these experiences with the fans? Uh, you know, just seeing all their interactions, um, you know, seeing how excited New York is, um, how excited like a lot of my family and friends get, um, you know, just seeing everybody else enjoy it, um, interacting with some of the people that, you know, you would have never bumped into on there is it's always fun and you know just everybody everybody enjoying it. it's it's really cool so if people do want to interact with you where should they go shoot out your social media platforms now's the time for the plug and what do you have to offer watch somebody follow uh, you just instagram you know I'm, I'm off of twitter a little bit i think twitter's a little crazy sometimes so i stay off of there but um smart instagram is fun for me you know people bouncing comments on my pics i like to comment on some other people's picks to see what everybody else is going on. So I'll get back to people on there. There you go. All right, Ron Marinaccio, dude, thank you so much for hopping on the feed, Absolutely. brother. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.